Hey guys, Melissa here from Melissa Mancuso Fine Art, and today I'm working on this pastel sunset on Canson Mitant's paper. The reference for this piece was from the Facebook group Photos for Artists, so I'm not allowed to post the actual reference photo, but if you're a part of that group, you can go on over there and download it yourself for your own use. I used Blick Artist Soft Pastels on this piece. Uh, which are a great affordable artist quality soft pastels. They can be found on their website. And they have, I bought the 120 stick set and these are half sticks. So it comes with all these beautiful colors that you can use to create pretty much anything you could imagine. Um, and I will be buying the full set of those at some point too, because I was so happy with them. Um, I used Canson Mitant's paper, and this is the color called Moonstone. It's kind of a neutral gray color. And in these sheets you can buy from Blick or from other large art suppliers. I bought a few single sheets in um, large sizes, so this I think is a 20 by 25. Um, and I cut it down to the size that I wanted. Uh, so I start out with some purples and grays towards the top of my piece here. I used a color picker app. Um, I actually used Photoshop this time to decide what colors that I would choose from my set of soft pastels. Um, so this part is basically just blocking in the general shapes of the clouds and the different colors. Uh, I used a muted gray along with that purple up top there to kind of dull down the purple color. Uh, I started using some kind of rusty color in there with the clouds and decided I didn't like that too much, um, so I will go over that. You can see I started using the soft tools from Pan Pastels to blend, but it really didn't work very much, and I keep trying to use it, of course, uh, because that's what I want to use, uh, but it ended up pulling off more of the pastel than actually leaving it on the paper, so it really didn't work too well, at least on the Canson paper. Um, here I am adding some darks to darken up the sky up top there. I used a black and a dark purple in with the purple that I already had, adding some more grays to mute down that purple. I don't want it too bright up at the top of the sky because the sky tends to be darker up top and lighter towards the horizon, at least in a sunset picture like this. And using my finger to blend because I found that works a lot better than anything else I had tried. Starting off with the block in of the clouds with some grays and I'll be layering more colors on top of that. Kind of smudging those in to make the clouds look really fuzzy and fluffy. Trying to brighten up that cloud a little bit, not sure what color that was. And a little more gray for clouds going down towards the horizon. Used a whole lot of purple in this sky apparently. I'm um, adding a little bit of blues. Basically whatever color that the Photoshop program told me was there, I tried to keep something around that color for the actual picture that I'm working on because it's, it's really not the colors that you thought it would be when you're just looking at the photo itself. Adding some darker clouds as you get towards the horizon, uh, the contrast will be stronger. So I'm trying to hype up my values a little bit down there. And I tried using that rusty color in there along with the gray and it really didn't work so well. So I'll end up covering that up a little later. like a rusty reddish brown and it really didn't work so well in my mind with the other colors I had. I decided to make the top of the piece a little darker up towards the top of the sky there. And don't know what I'm doing off camera. There we go. 
refining the clouds a little more, adding some brighter colors in there. I'm just using my finger to smudge it in and blend. Ooh, some really nice dark purples along with a gray. Adding some little wispy clouds in between. Or they will be clouds, I promise. They just look like lines right now. Nice brighter color in the middle. And I'm starting to cover up that ugly rusty color. I think I picked a different orange. And mixing that in right with all the purples and the grays. As I get down towards the horizon, I'm using less purples and like more reds, and I'll be using oranges and yellows uh, since that's closer to where the sun will be. Nice bright color right there. Actually, it didn't show up as bright as I had hoped it would, so I'll have to go back through there and brighten it up some. can see I've mostly got that kind of ugly rusty color covered up at this point. This paper does allow for several layers, I'd say probably three to four at most, before it really wouldn't start taking any more, and you'll see more of that as I get towards the bottom, and I have a couple stubborn spots that I keep trying to layer over. Um, this is the smoother side of the paper. There's a textured side with a little more tooth, and the smoother side that I'm working on. I found that the textured side um, works well with some things, but not with these Blick pastels. Um, you end up seeing too much of the tooth of the paper. And that's just not the style I'm going for, but it might work for you. Adding in some nice dark reds and purples on the side there. Some more oranges. And who knows what I'm doing off the camera again. There we go. Kind of mixing in like a tan color along with some yellows. I'm getting down towards the horizon now, so I'm using my nice bright colors. And decided here to draw in the horizon so I would actually know where I was going. I started off with a dark red. Didn't want to use straight black to start, though I will be adding some black in there to darken it up. Um, if I just used the black to start and then tried to blend around it, it would end up mixing with my oranges and my yellows, and I would end up probably with some greens, because black mixing with yellow tends to make some kind of muted green colors, and that's not the color that I want in a sunset. Adding some of that same red that I used in the land mass into my sky. I think I added some purple to it as well. More yellows and oranges. Doesn't really matter if you're following the reference photo exactly, as long as it looks nice to you. more reds for the clouds. Kind of use that as like a mid-tone in between my lights at the bottom of the horizon and the darker purples up towards the sky, so that's kind of my mid-tone. And that just helps to bring it together a little more. More of that red and some purples for some clouds towards the horizon. And using an orange to blend it in with the yellow behind it. Again, same idea, using a mid-tone to blend the darker and the lighter together. And this part is the reflection of the landmass, so there's a little bit of water at the bottom of the piece here. 
And since the water tends to move a little bit, I'm not making an exact replica of that land mass in the water. So there would be little ripples in it. Now here I just added some oranges to the clouds to make some highlights. So that'll be the sun reflecting off of those clouds. A little bit of lighter colors. It's like a lavender color. And that is where the sun will be. So I started off with like a really pale yellow and then a brighter yellow on top of it. And that's kind of peeking behind that landmass. And there's adding the black to the landmass. So that was the dark red I had already placed down, putting some black over it. And a dark brown actually too. So that way it's not one flat color. Even though it is in shadow, I don't want it to, um, I want it to have some depth and not just be flat. And decided that was a little dark, so I erased that because I want to actually get in uh, the yellows that are in the sky in that water as well. I'm just trying to brighten up the sun area a little bit. And starting out with the water, so I'm using roughly the same colors in roughly the same locations that I used in the sky because it is a reflection. So I'm not trying to go for exact, just because I didn't care enough, honestly, but if you want to try and make it exactly the same, the clouds up top and up bottom, you can. That'll make it look realistic. Trying to get some of those dark purples and dark reds towards the bottom of the artwork. Okay, you can see I did leave a little area underneath the biggest part of the landmass uh, to put my dark colors on top once I'm done blending the water. And again, not going for exact here. You can see me playing with that little corner a lot. There's this one area towards that bottom corner that would not blend. You could see the texture of the paper. And that was, it must have been a defect in the paper because that was the only area I really had trouble with. And I didn't have too many layers. I think I had one or two layers before it wouldn't blend anymore. So you'll see me keep coming back to that over and over to try and fix it. But I ended up never actually being able to cover up that funny looking area. Overall, you can't really tell in the finished piece. I'm adding some more, looks like more black to the land mass to make it a little darker. And taking that same red that I had used before, putting that right over the yellows in the water and adding some of the black again and the dark brown using my finger to blend a little more bright areas add back the sun it never really came out as bright as I wanted it to Again, because I couldn't add more layers to this paper, it was already maxed out. That's all this paper could take. I'm just trying to get a better transition between my purples and yellows down towards the bottom. And soften that line out a little bit. Really just trying to soften everything out at this point. These are the final touches. A couple more dark areas up top. And 
more of that orangish rusty color. Add some more highlights to the clouds. I to put a little more black in that reflection of the landmass and make that landmass a little darker it, or a little bigger. I mean, it did look kind of small for the reflection of that landmass. Still trying to play with that little corner. Making my land a little darker. Tried to use a little little blender and it really just pulled off more of the pastel than actually blending it. So I ended up using my finger again. Moral of the story for this piece is I had to use my fingers for everything. I was trying not to get messy and I failed. And here's the finished piece. Um, I hope you liked watching the video. I hope it gives you um, an incentive to try out these Blick pastels. Um, if you like this, please give me a like or a subscribe, and I'll be making more of them. Thanks! And we'll see you next time!